I am down in Mason County for the morning and doing a little bit of stuff for work and I got a little downtime in between and I thought that we would try our hand down at the river in a couple public places see if we couldn't find anything good just sitting out on the beach so took a little walk got us some uh, good looking beach down here and we're gonna see if we can't find anything good laying around we'll let you know if we do right off the bat I found a couple of nice pieces I don't know what that is I just picked it up there's a nice piece there some of that stuff I think's slag flint though like look at that big piece there that's obviously been machine cut but there is some stuff in here that looks natural too there's a lot of rock that's coming out of this hillside so we'll just have to keep our eyes peeled it might be a good spot to keep looking and see right there's a big piece there but it's machine cut nice smooth piece of flint and we'll move on down see if we don't see anything good this is the same barge that we seen about 40 miles up river a couple weeks ago the William Barr that's pretty cool he probably goes from Gallipolis up to Wheeling or something like that but it's neat to see him that far away I like to think the guys up there in the tower the same guys that we talked to that day off camera I got news for CH somebody did take CH if you live in Mason Palm Roy surrounding area your hammers down here at the park there's a bunch of crow feathers and I'll tell you what the circle of life right back between these two trees there the fox to probably ate that crow sitting there too he didn't make her and that's the way things go we haven't found anything too interesting yet down through here but it's been a nice little walk we got a little bit further to go we'll let you know if we do well finally found a piece of flint i ain't seen too much but the looking is a little bit better down here it almost looks like a bladelet there nah it's not a flint material breaking in my hand that will keep our eyes peeled there's a good chance to find something right through here the water's down a lot more than normal gives a little access to this line at the beach so we'll see if we can't pull anything out all right we didn't find much it's got a little piece of flint there i did find this weird piece of glass i'm going to try to use google lens to see what it belongs to i've never seen anything like it though it's got like a little triangular shape at the bottom if you know what it is or what it's part of let me know in the comments it's just some little neat thing i found oh, it's got looks like it might have writing on it oh. can't tell but uh, she's got that in that little preform we didn't run into too much down there i left the preform for somebody else to find i wasn't 100 percent sure that it was one it was kind of uh shiny and resembled slag as much as it did flint so i left it there on a rock if somebody else finds it and knows that it is one then they can have it but we're gonna get on down the road we'll see you on the river next time all righty today's a good day for a little bit of point hunting the water's down and when i woke up this morning it had rained a little bit harder in the morning than they said it was going to so i decided to pack everything up and get the kayak out on the river and see if we couldn't do a little surface hunting. So we're going to get to the other side here where we get a look around and we'll show you when we find anything good. All right, right off the bat, it ain't whole, it's missing the top. There's an old bottle. It says full pint, half pint. Up there it says a full half pint. It says the same thing on the bottom. I'm going to leave it since the tops broke off. Uh, we're over here looking around now. I did find a little piece of pottery. 
got some designs on it but nothing major yet we're gonna keep looking oh we've been walking the beach looking at stuff and i think we finally found something not too sure it looks like a triangle oh yeah that's what it is it's worked on the bottom and the sides just the tips messing all right well we're on the board today i found a couple neat rocks too i'm going to show you in a little bit they kind of remind me like they might possibly be grinding stones or mortars whatever you want to call them but we'll take a look at them in a little bit all right walking down through here it scored us a mason jar lid not too bad of a find right there put her in the pocket keep moving hope we find another airhead all right we were walking down through here saw a little bit of flint flakes there's one up here nice one but got looking saw this bad boy here laying in the sand it looks like it's whole oh man it's been work funny i think maybe we're trying to work it back into a drill it was a triangle point you could tell yeah how did it using it as a little knife but that thing uh, a little nick right there at the top that thing's pretty much whole it's been reworked that's a neat pond that's two on the board now we got a little bit more walking to do before we turn around of course we'll hunt the beach back because you never know what you'll see on the way back okay so i'm on the ohio river i've only seen this plant a few times it's got you can see the leaves and it's got these little bulbs on them if anybody knows what these are leave it in the comments i'm curious i've never seen them before until i started arrowhead hunting and i don't see them that often down here so if you know what it is let me know in the comments all right today's not been too bad of a day we found a couple pieces some stuff that was modern and come out of there with a win got some more of these we found these in there before these little cosmetic jars found a whole mason jar um this rock it could be nothing it's probably nothing but just super smooth and then i thought it was parallel but it's not just make a neat rock for the flower bed that one's got concavity on top and it's really big and round i thought it might be a busted mortar because it was in a sight and then this one has you can't really tell right now but it's got two smoothed out places and i thought maybe it was some type of grinding stone or mortar but i'm not uh claiming them as artifacts they're going in the what if pile in the flower bed it'd just be neat i'll clean them off another day and get a look at them i've um, got a handful of different flint one solitary piece of pottery and then this one here i'm not sure if it's a piece of flint or if it was a bust up artifact it looked like it's worked on this side over here but it's beat all to heck and then we got these two triangles this one had the tip busted off and then this one here was still whole but it's been worked into almost a drill so that one there's really neat looking um these are our first finds for our new artifact year we uh rolled the case over on the 12th found our final stuff and uh moving on to 2024 hopefully we'll have a good year as 2022 to 2023 was but right there's the beginning of the next year and that's everything we found so i appreciate everybody watching have a good one